The theme song to the one of my favorite shows, probably yours too, on Monday nights on TV One, Loving Me, the R&B Diva show. If you don't know about it, we got one of the divas on the line, Miss Monifa. How you doing? I'm good. I'm blessed. What's good, honey? How are you, sir? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just excited to have you on the line because I was like, oh my gosh, I got royalty on on my radio show right now. This is this is like history right now. I had Selena, and I got yeah. Monifa. Like. I'm feeling Damn. good right That's now. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I gotta ask you this: the on the on the project R&B Divas, you have a song on there called "She's Me." Is that yeah. your single, or is that just your solo track that was for this album R&B Divas? That is a, a song that I I um gave to the project. No, let the you know to the project. Um, we thought it was fitting. Um, it was written by Anthony Giles and by Anthony Giles, who I worked with. Personally. He's my producer, working on my my new project with him. Um, he's one of the, the, the EPs on my new project, musical project. So um, we decided that that would be a great song to um, to uh, give to the album because it just made sense for the empowerment and just the storytelling of it um, and um, the relatability of it lyrically. Yes, exactly. She's me. Definitely love it. Definitely love it. So that means you got a single that's coming out soon or something? Or are you in the process? Yeah, I'm, working yeah, I'm in the process of getting that ready for you guys i'm really looking for december to be that to be the um month for that so you know, december it's a, it's a good christmas present for you for everybody so december we're gonna have you back on to debut it right here on the show maybe yeah like we make it happen i don't see why not okay okay i'm so excited right now now um i did some research and i found out like it says something that you have like a band uh fearless and disrespectful is can you let us know a little bit about that well, um, while I was gone from the the team, the, the the spotlight, so to speak, um, <laughs> mm-hmm. it wasn't recorded. I was um, performing live uh, with my band, um, and it's the same band that you know I use for my stuff. When when they're when they're backing me, they're they're fearless, and um, as as a company, it's so disrespectful um, when we back other artists and stuff like that. Um, so uh, that's. That's my that's my meat. They bad. They real bad. 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 Bad folks. What is a heavy thing? And um, I love them dearly. And 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 hopefully we'll be seeing them perform with me when when I when we go on tour and stuff like that. They'll be working with me. And like on on the RB Diva show, you kept it two hundred percent real with us. You know what I'm saying? You let us really into your life about you know your, your uh, past drug issues and your girlfriend and just where you are right now. Like. Was that something that you wanted, like, that was, like, a main reason why you wanted to, like, you know, like, just put it all out there for your fans, let everybody know that you're just keeping it 100 with the people? Well, you know, that's always been my MO. I mean, as far as, um, I've always just lived my authentic life and lived for, for me. Um, and um, and I just think it was a perfect storm, so to speak, of um, timing because I was just at a place in my life where I was ready to share my story. And it just so happened that this opportunity to to do that and you know to, to become a part of this program, this show, all happened at the same time. At the time that I was you know getting better and you know change transitioning into you know where I am now as far as like living my best life. And um, you know it just it just makes sense because I, I think that people need to know that they're not alone in their struggles. Or their triumphs, and um, I, I, I just felt like um, you know, well, God put it on my spirit just to get my tra- walk in transparency and in truth. Talk about and things, rest, ha- and He got that covered. The rest He got covered. All right, talk <laughs> about things happen for a reason. Now, how do you feel of how TV One depicted your part on the show? You know, let me be clear. Let's be like the network is the network that we air on, and that supports the show and gets the, the funds to make it happen and gets the advertising dollars. Um, the production company is, is who, you know, edits the show, and, and those are two separate entities. I think that um, Think Factory Media did a great job um, for what they, you know, for, that they did a great job, you know, getting the show across. And basically, most of what we wanted to show is, is you know, positive women. You, you're dealing with five branded women who already had careers that weren't trying to be famous, but share their stories and, um, and create a platform you know, to broaden their brands. And um, in that in that sense, I think Think Factory Media did a great job and did exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, television is just, you know, it has a different set of, um, 
a different set of um, dynamics. You know, um, there's things that are TV. You know that you got to you know TV things that happen just because because that's you know has to be has to have a certain amount of drama and all that stuff. There's different elements that have to go into it. So um, you know, TV did an awesome job, and I think TV One for seeing the value in the show itself. Um, what it stood for, what it what it represented, and what it eventually ended up being, because we just set it at the moment. Um, as far as our premiere episode, um, we reached almost a, year, uh, a million views on our first um, out on our first show premiere, and we broke um, TV One records. So, um, since people are looking for good content and are tired of seeing certain types of um, images, and we ratchet, have to ready, ratchet, ratchet. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. we got we really as a community of people. We don't really have the luxury of having, you know, just only one type of images out there of us because we're not, we're very layered, we're very um, colorful, and we're, we're, we have a lot of layers and dynamics to us, and we're not just one way, we're not just angry, we're not just um, smart, we, we're, we're such a big mix and hogmash of, of different things, and we need to show that, that needs to be shown on on our, throughout images on television and in, in um, radio and and movies and, and stuff like that and TV. So um, we definitely had to show that there's positive women out there that are grown and know how to resolve issues and without jumping around and pressing each other out and hitting on each other and throwing things. That's just not how adults operate. Exactly. Not any adults I know. <laughs> I, I know, right? So I, you got a little bit of time with us because I, I got to play this. Can we play this uh, She's Me record? And then we come back talk Absolutely. a little bit what you're going Absolutely. on right now. Can you introduce it for us, please? This is she. She's me off of Faith Evans on the Divas by Monifa featuring Monifa. What? Nobody would believe her. This is what he always told her. This is why she pulls away when anybody holds her. She's me, she's me off the Faith Albums, R&B Divas album, charity album right there. Like, so money for all the proceeds to this album went to ch- actually went to charity. Not all of them. Um, a percentage of the um, proceeds are going to to uh, benefit the Whitney Houston Academy in Newark. Um, she has a, a school, her name takes school, performing arts school in Newark okay. that we are given a percentage of the proceeds. Faith is given a percentage of the proceeds to. So oh. it's definitely you know we. We definitely did that because, um, you know, Whitney was such a big influence on all of us as artists and as a, as a, a woman. And, um, you know, definitely want to end with friends. You know, Faith and Faith, she and Faith were very good friends. And uh, we just thought it very fitting because we were all there in, um, in L.A. at Kelly Price's Grammy party. We performed each of us, you know, collect, select, um, you know, individually. And where she, you know, was on stage for the last time and we, people heard her voice for the last time. So we kind of figured it was fitting to do that. Okay. Now, Say how much? Now we, we watch the show Monday nights, 10 o'clock on TV One. Now, I got to ask you this, though, because, you know, the cameras don't show everything. We don't get to see everything on TV. So what was your That's most right. memorable moment that we didn't see with the, in, process, in the process of making this album with your sisters? Oh, okay. The most memorable. Let me see. Um, there's a few of those. Um, I would have to say funniest, cause it, it, which makes it memorable. Um, Kiki um, beat up the um, mascot at the Atlanta Braves game, and I was so thought that I was going to make the cut because it was her last year. Yes. No, she <laughs> didn't. No, so she <laughs> really was, don't he like was the playing Braves. Too much. He was playing too much. He came over. He had like the flag and the pole. Like even though it was light, when he would, he was like putting the trying to put the flag like over her head. Like he's acting like he didn't see it. You know how the mascot plays. Yeah. Out. And but he hit her. He almost hit her with the the pole part. And she caught back and hit him and twisted his, his, his head piece. So it's like, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And it's Oh, and my God. I believe. Like, she caught back. Like, same leg, same arm. Her leg went up in the air. Her, her, her arm went back. And she punched her square the head. It was hilarious in front of the whole entire arena. It was funny. Wow! Oh my goodness! Wow! I wish you would have got a chance to see that right there. Now, um, one more, one more question though. One more question about the show. Now, um, hold on. Where is it? Oh, wait, I forgot. Damn! I, 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 I lost my spot. Don't tell nobody else don't though. Trying to tell you too young for that. Don't don't tell, don't tell nobody else. I got the questions in front of me. I lost my spot. Um, okay. The album. What's your favorite song on the album, and why? Oh, 
discipline because it encompasses, you know, the the um, the, the, the the relationships that I have in my, per, you know, my the, the, the I call my inner court. Um, it's it's five of us, and we're very close. Um, and then the, it's just what I think female to female friendships should consist of, and it just kind of speaks to the positivity and the support and the love that women have for one another, especially black women have had for one another through the years and how we've helped each other survive and pull through. It just encompasses that and embodies that what that looks like in my in my mind. All right. And I love the song. I love it. Okay, so we're going to get to that song in a minute. But before we do, now um, on t- on the stage, the Essence Festival, y'all seem very nervous building up to it. But I knew y'all was going to, you know, pull it through. And y'all did. Now, that and y'all did such a wonderful job and everything Thank on you. stage or whatever. Nikki, Nikki forgot to introduce Selena. That was kind of messed up. But it was all right. Y'all was in the moment. So can we see, is there really going to be an R&B Divas tour in the works real soon? Well, I, I would think it would make sense. Um, it's just, you know, it's five of us, and it's five brands, and five separate, complete separate brands beyond on the even the show. So, that you know, we got to get everybody on the same page, but I, I would think that it, may, it makes a lot of sense. You know, so if it was up to me, it would be happening tomorrow. Okay, okay, we're gonna all pray that we have all yes, five yes, divas yes, on tour. We're gonna we gonna claim it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna speak in existence. Claim the <laughs> you you already know what it is. Now Selena was on the show and she would not give me this, she would not answer this question because I guess she was trying to be political with it. But I was trying to see which one of y'all was the biggest Diva on set. She was like, no, I can't do it because, you know, we all sisters. And I was like, it was somebody. Who is the biggest diva on set, in your opinion? There is none. I none? think that we all have our diva moments. Okay. But we, we're all so, let me just keep it 100. Okay? Please do, please in do, my please New York do. Place. I'm going to keep it 100. All of us have our diva moments. Every single one of us. But we don't, we don't move like that on a regular. It's not part of our, it's not part of who we are. You know, like that. You know, on that bull, on that BS. So, um, you know, we had those moment, a moment, and that's that. And and so nobody really has a monopoly on the being the biggest evil because it could be any one of us or, or three of us at the same time. You never know how it's gonna come. But she said the same thing. <laughs> so she we said, said the same we thing. <laughs> Wow, she said the same thing. So, y'all sisters for real. I'm just saying, though. So, all right. So, right now, we got the R&B Divas that's out. And you say you're working on your project. December is when we're going to get yes. this single. Or we're going to hear that single. Can you, get, and, um, can, yeah. can you give us a sample of what it's going to be like? I can, you know, you can it, give me an acapella. It is or really you could just, it's going to just love it. I mean, my goodness, it's been 13 years since my last project. And, and, and. It would be new to a lot of you, so because a lot of you were very young when yeah, my last project was out, or, or were very young when my first when I first came out, and your parents probably you know rocked to me and all that. So, so you know, I, I'm I'm really glad that I have a, an opportunity to have a new reach out to a, a new fan base, and so um, it's just it's 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 gonna be me, um, it's gonna be Monifa. Um, it's, and that could be a lot of things, you know, at any given point. But um, it's hot. It's gonna be it's like hot. the like the like the touch it, Monifa. Like the well, I miss you. Of, I mean, but touch it is just one song on an album that had many different, did many different moods on it. So you know, um, it's gonna be like me. It's okay. gonna be very layered, like me. Okay, okay. So December, what is it called? What is it called? You got a title for it yet? Not yet. I'm still working on that. I had a, it was it was it was midnight, but I'm not sure if that's the title anymore. It, I, you know that that evolves at, at the point as you start as you record and as the the the, the, the project takes shape. Sometimes the, the title changes because the, the the energy changes at at from day to day. And so by the time you, you start out one way, by the time you, you can't like box stuff in, and I'm not big on boxes and labels, you know. So. It, 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 whatever it ends up being at that point where it's ready to be ready to, for, for the world to hear it that's what the name of it is going to be so that, December we're going to get Monifa and she's going to be back Monifa. on the Urban Experience and let us know what it's all about I remember you Heavy D <laughs> RP to Heavy D you know I wish I got uh-huh. a chance to meet him but what is one thing that Heavy D told you from the beginning that stays with you to this day oh wow that's a great question hmm 
<laughs> well, okay. I hit you with one of them. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let me see. Don't spread yourself too thin. Always keep something for yourself. Okay. Always keep something for yourself. All right. That's 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 Monifa. Army D was on the line December. Monifa will be back as Monifa. Okay. She said twelve years. She's coming December. Y'all look out for it. Give the contact, Twitter, Facebook, website, all that good stuff where they can follow you. And don't have to wait till December. Because I know you're going to be releasing something. Giving yeah. us some clues, some hints, or something till December. <laughs> well, I'm going to be doing my blog. And so you got to keep up with me while the show is off air. Me showing, giving makeup tips and advice. And just, you know, kind of just keeping up with, with um, the fans and um, supporters. And just talking to you guys. Because I love you guys. But, um... You can, uh, you can get me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Monifa, T-H-E-M-O-N-I-F-A-H. The Monifa. Mm-hmm. She's going to follow us back. Yo, DJ underscore So Urban and the UE Show. So um, in December, again, she says she's coming back. Okay, it's going to be that new, new Monifa, right? That new, new, ew. <laughs> already, already. So um, we're going to go ahead and go to your favorite joint. My favorite joint album is uh, Loving Me because I listen to it like by 5, 6, 15, 20, 30. I listen Great, to it a, a lot. Tie. <laughs> I, it's a tie. I love that song because I'm so happy and upbeat and real. And, and the same reasons I love, I think it's like the upbeat version of Sister Friends. You know what? You're right. Up. You're right. You're right. Like, and then another thing, too, about the album, too, like you actually ride through from top to bottom. That's what everybody keeps saying. That's what, that's what it got. Yes, everybody keeps saying. Amen, amen. I will, we could go <laughs> on for days, but you're going to be back on December. So go ahead yes, and introduce this uh, Sister Friends song, and I appreciate you checking in on the show. Thank you for having me, baby. I had a good time. Thank you. You can, you can give me good questions, too. Bad, kiddo. You ain't bad. Put those dreams <laughs> and goals in the headlock. This is Sister Friends with my sister, and I do I love very much, Nikki Gilbert Daniels, Selena Johnson, Kiki Wyatt. Faith Evans and moi, sister friends from Faith Evans R&B Divas. 